Hey guys, it's Sega the Frontline Tactic, and I want to show you guys Banished. Uh, I brought it to a bunch of my friends and family's attention and, that are into the city builder and strategy uh, kind of genre. And so now this is me showing it off to you guys. The premise is, is that you're a couple families that, uh, I think about five families, and each family has one child, so I think you start the game with ten adults and eight or nine children. And the premise is that you've left your home country and or village and are now trying to start it up on your own in the brutal wilderness that is, you know, the outdoors. Um, like one of the ways that I kind of described this to uh, to like divination was I pulled him aside and I was like, "Look, check this game out." And he's like, well, "What is this? Is it?" And I was like, "It's kind of like a city builder." Um, and he's like, uh, and off the bat, we were kind of talking about Civ Five and Sim City, and I was like, "No, no, no. Think of like the first turn of Civ Five. That's like the one of the best ways that I can describe this." before you have economy, before you have anything really, it's just, it's, you guys are, you start the game in the middle of nowhere, and you set down shop. That's the best way to describe it. This game is amazing because there's no tutorial. It's, you just have to learn it on the fly. So, we'll just name this the, the front line. Uh, we'll go with valleys, we'll go medium, fair climate, disasters on. Um, from what I understand, you guys can have like harsh weather, harsh winters, um, fires. I've had some bad winters, but I've not had anything else like that. And some of the disasters also uh, include diseases. Um, uh, one of the times I was playing, I was showing divination, uh, I think we had like a third or a quarter of the, of the village uh, basically get influenza. And that, and things like that, like, bog down your productivity. It's, you know. But let's just jump right into it, and I kind of show you a quick build. And I think I'm going to, kind of like many other games in this fashion, that you can adjust the speed at which time travels. So I think I'm going to start off with times two, and then once I get going and showing you stuff, and how it kind of generally works, I'm going to jump it up to times two. So... Here's all our citizens. They're all probably going to go get something to eat. Oh, right off the bat, we're going right into a, uh, a late... Because you start off in early spring. And so, let's pull up our tools. Uh, general stats, which is important. Your event log, which is super important because it lets you know when citizens... Uh, like the, when they die, when you're low on resources, and when you... Um, uh, when your children grow up to adults and things like that. Oh, so this time it started me with ten adults, six children. Uh, uh, map, I kind of like the map to just kind of like look at. And then this one's super important. This one, like, you guys can't live without. And this is going to be your professions and your task log. This is how you micromanage your citizens. This game is all about micromanaging. You don't have to worry about monsters, dungeons, attacks, nothing like that. This is just you trying to set up a habitable environment uh, and like homestead for your citizens. So one of the things I like to do right off the bat is tell them to clear cut. So this tool right here to remove resources just kind of give yourself a little bit of breathing room. You can just highlight it and then your citizens will start going to work. to uh, we'll just get all that and then like I said we'll do uh, times two for now go and pull two people for builders and we're gonna make a simple just T intersection right here and what that what roads do is it increases the people's travel and so that's that's the really fun thing about this game is there it, it get early on it gives you uh, kind of a learning curve to kind of like use common sense to see what you need and what there is, and it gives you a little bit of information like right here it says citizens without homes. So all the citizens with little homes over their heads 
so if you can pay attention, use common sense with what the icons over the people's heads are, it, it kind of tells you what's going on with your citizens, as well as the event log will give you a heads up on stuff. Like, sometimes it'll show, uh, like, a, well, like a, a fork and knife, and that means they're hungry. Uh, a snowflake means they're cold. So there's different, like, little icons and heads up that they'll let you know. Just listen to your citizens, you know what I mean? So, also what you have to do is micromanage your, uh, oops, micromanage your resources constantly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build at least one stone home. One stone house. Uh, the benefit of stone house over wood house is that it's easier to insulate. Alright, what else do we want to build? So yeah, it's just basically, it's a, it's a, a builder of oh, home, homes. Alright, so let's, right here, I'm gonna get really big, I'm not gonna go that big. Just do a 10 by 10 square crop. And let's do wheat, there we go. I'm going to assign two farmers to that so that we can get food rolling. Even though we got a good supply of food, you want to constantly keep the citizens going because your citizens are going to, or your food going, because citizens are going to have kids. And kids, basically what they do is they take your clothing and they take your clothing and your food away. That's all the kids do until they get old enough to be an adult. So it's, it's super pain in the butt. Alright, let's see. Do you see any deer? We see deer right here. So I think one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to clear cut like a path out here. Let's see what I'm going to do. Let's see, how is our resources looking? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, harvest all the stone from right here. As well as all the iron. reason to doing that is I want to try to keep as much of that tree cover up as possible. I'm going to show you guys why. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm going to be a jerk until those trees are out of the way. So I may have to also do this. trees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carve my way out here and I'm going to build a forester nest. I'm storage of logs is going in. The log stone and iron is nearly at capacity. Oh, so people need to build more. That's that's what I'm being told. Let's see, what else? So some, Sometimes you just got to keep your people on task because otherwise they will uh, they will falter and uh, have difficulty. Forester Lodge. So see, I kind of want to just put it out here. Oh, 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 oh. Wrong button. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Forester Lodge like... I want to try to keep this still empty of... There we go, zoom out see the range. So the forester's going to sit there and plant more and more trees. So I kind of want to put him out there. Uh, yes, I understand. Things are at capacity. People aren't doing nothing. I'm building enough. So you can see where my plot is and then you can kind of see that. And then what I'm going to do is going to do the herbalist. right across from it. And then where did those deers go? So that's another thing, is pay attention to the patterns of the deers. Because what direction the deers go in is kind of also the direction of, you know, where you want to build your hunting cabin. And so everything is you got to micromanage and pay attention to. Uh, because it, it'll bite you in the butt if you don't pay attention. 
that's really all this game is, is basically uh, managing things and paying attention. Road. Boy, there we go. Right, so we got the wood already done. And then as you get see, the people will then take stuff out of the storage barn and put it into their homes, such as clothing, food, and resources like that. And you can watch the yield of your crops. So basically, that's that's the game in the nutshell. And then you just have this giant sandbox to play in. So like, if you really wanted to, you can build a bridge and then start another like miniature community over here and to get all these more resources. And you can just have like a central, you know, build your 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 township up to like you turn this into an entire necrop or. Uh, Metropolis, if you want, so to speak, of um, Pilgrim-esque era uh, building. The music in this game is super calm. It's just very addictive. It's just you just go throughout your time. Uh, like I said, I was gonna speed this up. Let's go to times five so you can see the products happen. Uh, looks like we are having an abundance of resources. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a there's stockpile right here. So see, right here, the deer came in across the river. Let me build a hunting lodge. Let's see. Hunting lodge. How big is the area of the hunting lodge? Pretty decent. I'll put it... Let's think like... Here should be fairly decent. First, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna? Oh, first, I'm gonna do a woodcutter. Woodcutter there, and then we will do a deer here. There we go. And there you go. Still have 10 citizens without homes. What I'll do is I've never ran into this problem, but I never want to run into this problem. So I'm going to build a well here. And then I'm going to build a house right there. Like I said, it's never been a problem yet, but I don't want it to be a problem. Oh, and then you gotta pay attention because like they'll finish building like something, and you gotta you gotta watch for it. Like I said, it's playing at times five is kind of hazardous because things kind of happen really quickly, and you gotta pay attention to what's going on. Hunter, well, we're gonna put two hunters there. See if we can start getting some venison going on. Another cool thing is if you build homes next to like places of work. See, he's a builder, builder, child, uh, builder, farmer, and then that's not built yet. So people will homes next to. Oh, see right there, boom! Uh, someone became an adult, and then we just had a child born. Homes built next to places of occupations it'll kind of almost prioritize them to live next to where they work. And so I, I like that. It makes it quicker for the citizens. So you do have to micromanage the citizens a lot, but at the same time, the citizens will kind of take care of themselves a little bit. And that is, oh my gosh, really high. Oh, became an adult, got a citizen. So that's like the benefit of having homes is they start filling them up with children. Um... 
Alright, so they just did a full yield, so I'm going to take the two farmers away. Put, they're going to go to laborers, and we're going to put one of them to f building as well to help. What's going on? The controls are super simple. You, the, I mean, W, A, S, and D is just to basically move around the camera. Q and E is to pivot. And then when you go to build, uh, R and T are to uh, rotate the building, basically to spin. And then everything else is done by uh, single clicking. Uh, let me pause it for a second. So you, like, you can even look at the citizens themselves to see their general mood and health and happiness, gender, occupation, even if they're educated or not. So, and then you can click on anything and then just right click to deselect it. And spacebar is your speed, you know, is pause or unpause, pause and play. So that's, yeah, this is the game in the nutshell. It's super simple and easy and calm and just wholesome. I, I love it a lot and I've spent hours in it. I think this is like my fourth town that I've started. Uh, just because I like, I kind of like the, the production of it. And plus I wanted to show it off to you guys and... It, it's, it's not a very good show and tell if I just show you something that I've like already built to, you know, where I've you know, occupied a quarter of the, the city. So what's going on up there? They just don't feel, <laughs> they don't feel like taking it over. Um, so, yeah guys. Check out Banished. It's a great indie game. Uh, it's fun. If you're into the city builders, I would say definitely go check it out. Um, it is it is a little different than like Civ 5 and things like that where you have to deal with the economy and stuff like that. This is 100% dealing with just uh, survival. Um, so it's, it's, it's simple and pure. And it's... it's uh, Intentions. Yeah, build another house. We'll do stone this time. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Um, I would love to see photos and screenshots of your village. Uh, you can send them to the information that I send, you know, I put it in the section below. Uh, but yeah, the contest is still going on. So, uh, new subscribers and comments, uh, get you in the running for, uh, basically a game key from Kenshi. Or for Kenshi, from Lofi Games. Uh, but yeah. Alright guys. Have fun, and uh, stay safe on the front line.